Uh, aloha everyone, Arms Inc. here and today I have a quick look kind of review on a single shot 16 gauge, not 20, not 12, 16 gauge Western Arms Company. This little nifty shotgun is was made in the early 1900s. It's seen better days, pardon me, it's seen better days however it's still functional and I've actually used it at the trap range so it's kind of fun uh, the barrel has been cut down to 24 inches and if you look at the diameter of the barrel you can see it's head thicker over here and thinner right here so it kind of tells you where technology has gone in uh, barrel manufacturing and also it appears that the person just used the hacksaw and cut it because it's not cut evenly all the way through it's like this part's lower this part's higher. Um, it's been patched with a brass strap right here. I guess the stock was cracking at one point in time. And yeah, so it's a little beater gun. And if we look down the barrel, oh, it's not too bad considering how, how, how old it is and how many rounds have been shot through it. I personally have put a couple hundred rounds through this. Um, just messing around with my friends and whatnot. Uh, the hammer fires, and it does. Uh, when it ejects, it doesn't fling it out; it just pulls, pops it out. So, it, but it does have a nice little ejecting thing there. And the other cool part about this is, it is a takedown. So if we take this screw, and you spin it, there's a little lever that lies flat in here. You spin it and spin it and spin it. And then I think that's enough. And it pulls out. And then it comes apart. So, kind of cool. Very nifty. Can be stored in a little bag. The only downside nowadays is 16 gauge is not very common. And because of such, it does make it hard to shoot this. Uh, this. There is no front sight, so it's all just point and aim like typical shotgun use. And yeah. So if you guys have any questions, comments, uh, please leave them in the comment box down below. And mahalo for watching. And please subscribe.